Hello everyone, welcome back to Sebrof. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix could not connect to the Steam network. This error basically comes on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 when you are not properly connected to the internet. Now this can be because of multiple reasons. So number one, what you have to keep in your mind that you should be connected to the internet connection. So how you can check that? You need to come to this website, open any of your browser, then open this website. The link will be in the description. And once you come here, you have to click on go. And after that, you have to wait until it shows you the downloading and the uploading speed. If you are getting a good downloading and uploading speed, that means you are connected to the internet and kindly check that what kind of speed you are getting. If your speed is very poor, fluctuating and the ping is very high, then also you may have such kind of problem. In that case, what you can do, you can restart your router, restart your PC and check back again. All right, now in case if this doesn't work, next what you will have to do, click on your Windows search, type here, allow, and then you will be getting an option, allow an app through Windows Firewall. You have to click on this option, and then here you have to add the Steam to Firewall exception. Okay, so you have to look here for a Steam application. If you do not find it, then click on your search box, type here Steam, right click on Steam app, click on open file location, copy the Steam path from the here, just right click on it and choose copy. Close it. Now here you have to click on change settings, then click allow another app. And where it says the path, you have to click on browse and then paste the path over here. Hit enter. Then click on Steam and then click on Open. Then click on Add and Steam will now be added over here. So you have to look Steam now here. Once you get it, make sure that the Steam option has been checked. And on the right hand side, the private and public option has also been checked. Once you are done, you have to click on OK. Next, you also need to make sure that there is no proxy setting has been enabled. All right, so click on the search box again. Type here proxy. You will be getting the proxy settings. Now here it will be set to automatically detect setting. Okay, but if you see any manual proxy setup enable, you just need to toggle it off. Okay, so only automatically detect settings should be enabled. Rest everything should be disabled from here. No manual proxy should be set up. Again, click on the search box. Type here Steam. Right click on Steam application and then choose open file location. Right click on Steam icon. Click on properties. Now here in the target section, you have to add something. So click on this target box, give a space, and then you have to type minus sign. And in the caps, you have to type TCP. Once done from the top menu option, click on compatibility and check the option here, disable full screen optimization and check the box of run the program as an administrator. Then you have to click on apply, click on continue, then click on okay. All right, once it's been done, again, open your task manager, right click on the windows icon, click on task manager. From the top menu option, click on details. And now here you have to look for the Steam. So if any Steam application, any Steam app you find here, you have to make a right click on it and choose end process tree. Okay, so you have to completely close the Steam application from here. So look here in the list till the bottom and make sure that there is no Steam application running. Now after that, again click on the search box, open Steam and let's see whether the problem has now been fixed or not. Alright bingo, so now you can see that Steam application just came up without any kind of error message and it works much good without any kind of interruption. So hopefully guys, this will also work for you and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any issues, any problem, any question, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care, bye bye.